Finally, I just wanted to do some personal rambling, uh, just some blog stuff like I, I used to do. I mean, I've been doing this uh, for a couple of years now. I've got a few hundred videos, I think. And uh, really, the whole point to begin with was just a, a soapbox, a chance to just share my opinions and update people in my life because, you know, I've been away from the States for a long time now. Uh, this is reaching the end of my fourth summer here. So for four summers straight, I've been in Vietnam now, and I've spent most of these summers, apart from uh, last summer I was in Bangkok briefly, and uh, the summer before that I was in Saigon. But this summer I had my staycation in Hanoi, which has been awesome. You know, I haven't worked much, and I've just blown through my savings. And I've had a great time. You know, I've jammed with other musicians, and I've gone on a few dates, you know, and I've I've been to a few social gatherings, a few parties, and I've spent a few days just hanging out in bed watching YouTube. I've made a ton of videos this summer, it's been great. But now I'm talking about summer almost in the past tense because I've got back on my work schedule again. I'm filling up as many hours as I can. I'm trying to save some money now. And it feels good to be working, but I kind of miss just being a, a lazy jerk in bed all day. And it's sort of like, since I moved out here, unlike anywhere else that I've lived, it's been great having these summers off. And, uh, you know, it reminds me of being a kid. And I remember my mom asking us, me and my brothers, like, what do you like more, the end of the school year or the start of the school year? And my older brother, who's always been the more responsible, uh, I guess more conforming type, he said, well, he liked the start of school because you get new clothes and new supplies and everything. You get to see your classmates and all that, and I could see the charm in that, especially in Wisconsin, you know, uh, the start of the school and in September, and the leaves turn color and all that, but even back then, I remember, th I remember saying, no, I like the end of the school year better. I like the idea that I can just uh, have a few months, just do whatever I want. And I've said this before on this channel, but um, one of my professors, when I was getting my master's degree in English, he was saying, uh, you know, the three most important things about teaching you should always remember are June, July, and August, but August is only, it's only August 13 as I'm recording this now, but I feel like the summer is already coming to an end because I'm filling up my schedule and, you know, whatever summer romance I had has sort of dwindled now and, and it's sort of like I've done all the summer things and now my eyes are focused on fall. And I guess the school year for children begins a little bit earlier than it does for teachers. <clears throat> They all start in. Uh, they all started last week, <laughs> and I'm just I'm just now filling up my schedule with uh, teaching hours. But for anyone who's ever thought of doing ESL teaching, come to Vietnam definitely, because out here you can find that um, you can get by on on few hours, and you can also you have a lot more say about your schedule than than you have in other countries. This is. It's really something I experienced, unlike in Korea, where they really monitor closely that you have one job and, and you stick to that job and you have to fill all the hours. Or in um, China, it was a similar case, even though in both places I took tutoring on the side. Here it is, like I can just work a part-time job and then monkey with my hours however I want. So that's been kind of cool. And it's not a freedom that I had as a kid, or even when I first graduated and got my first jobs. So. Definitely, I'm going to promote my city again, my city. But lately, I don't know, I've never spent this much time overseas at, at one point. And so I do get these weird flashbacks of home. And I do get this weird twinges of homesickness sometimes. Like, of all things, I was daydreaming about pizza rolls a while ago, thinking it would be neat to have a pizza roll again. Or to walk down an actual sidewalk again. We don't really have sidewalks here, kind of, but the sidewalks are filled with plastic chairs, motorbikes, and everything. And if you walk anywhere, you end up walking on the, on the street anyway. Yeah, so I miss everybody. Gosh, I, you know, if I could afford to, I would have gone back. And I probably should have been able to, but I, I squandered a lot of that. And I just needed some time. I just needed some time alone, man. And I just needed some time to make some videos, and it's been great even though I don't really... I mean, I've got less than 100 subs or whatever. Please subscribe if you're new here anyway, <laughs> if you're just listening. But I just wanted to do a, a rambling video, kind of an update on my life and how, like, you know, since I started this with that first video, a Jinka Jinka Java, it's... Uh, not much has changed. I've moved, but it's only been a few feet. You know, I moved upstairs. Um, <clears throat> 
different jobs, different people, different relationships, different everything. It's sort of just passing. It's sort of a long, and I would say happy dream, but I kind of wonder what's, what's on the other side when I wake up. I, f I feel like I am kind of in a coma sometimes. A sweet coma, a nice coma. It's one that I wish I could bring others into. I wish you could step in here with, with me and my dreams. And I hope that anyone watching seriously considers coming out to visit me. Because while I do have my own culture out here, I do know people and everything. It is, it is, uh, it is strange to think about home. It really is. And I, I do miss everyone. Over and out.